Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. I can count on one hand how many powder foundations we have tried on this channel, okay? Out of the three that we've tried so far, two of them had really good undertones. One was a perfect match, and the other one I can switch between two shades. Now, the most recent one that we tried was the ColourPop pressed powders. One of the shades was a bit too cool. Today we're going to be trying our fourth pressed powder. Elf Cosmetics has been getting into complexion products for the past few years and they've launched quite a few complexion products. Our favorite on this channel is the Elf Camo Concealer which we use on our brows and we actually used to use it on our as our eyeshadow base. But we love using the Camo Concealer on our brows because we don't have to set it when we put it on so we just put it on and forget it, okay? We also love the Hydrating Camo Concealer. But in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the e.l.f. Camel Powder Foundation, okay? Ever since e.l.f. announced on their website that they were going to be launching this product, I have been checking and checking to make sure that it was going to be available so I can buy it. Luckily, they sent over a PR for this. I did choose the two deepest shades and a very light shade to use as my concealer. I am going to be showing you guys the two shades that I got. I'm going to be using it in a foundation routine and then we're going to do a wear test to see exactly how it wears on the skin. So if you want to see the e.l.f. Camel powder foundation and all the other things that I'm going to put on top of it and how it wears on the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, then keep on watching. Okay, now on the website it says that it's a infused a press powder foundation that delivers buildable coverage and an airbrushed finish and it's available in 30 shades the last time we heard primer infused we went ahead and did like a side-by-side -side comparison so i think i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna do half of my face primed and the other half not primed so we can see how this powder wears by itself especially because it claims to be primer infused much like we did with the um the Jaclyn Cosmetics products, okay? If these two don't do anything for me, then I'm gonna go get the, the shade before the two deeper shades and then I'll use that in another video for you guys to see what it's all about, okay? So, first we're gonna swatch the shade 660N and that means it's neutral, so it's 660 neutral. This is what that powder looks like. It is beautiful and deep. Ooh, child. Um, I can see it. It's right here. Let me know if you can see it. It's right there. Okay, so next I'm going to swatch five or oh, 650. So this is what 650 looks like in comparison. I'm going to swatch that directly below that shade that we just swatched. I'm going to do a second one. Okay, I feel like 650 has a better undertone for me this is 650c this is a cool undertone this is a neutral undertone this is a cool undertone so i'm gonna be using the cool one this is why i wanted to have the next shade after that but but these two look like something that we could definitely use definitely go based off of this and if you feel like these two will not work for you then definitely check out the third deepest shade which is what I'm gonna do if the shade 650 does not work well for me, okay? I forgot to put my, my primer on. I'm gonna put primer on only one half, on only half of my face. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I'm gonna apply that to the left side of my face. I'm just gonna use one pump since it's only, wow, that's a very small pump. Since it's only going to be on half of my face, I don't wanna put too much product on i'm gonna put a little bit over this concealer and we're supposed to wait 30 seconds for it to set before we put any product on it so that's what we're gonna do now i'm not one for little powder puffs to actually apply my complexion products but if you need to there's a powder puff in here that you can use swirl it on the thing and just on your face. I don't wanna do that, okay? So, I'm gonna be using a brush for this. I'm using a new clean brush. I'm taking the shade 550, so it's a cool product. I'm gonna go into the powder. Oh my God, look at it. And I'm gonna apply it to my face. Ah. 
That shit looks very good. So remember, this side of my face does not have any primer on, um, and this side of my face does. The side of my face, it looks really, really, really good. I just look at how it matches, like the balance on it. If I had used 660, it definitely would have been a little bit too much, I feel like. I think this matches a lot better. And I'm definitely going to get the shade after this to see how this compares because we need options, you know? Summer's coming, I'm definitely gonna be deeper than I am right now which means I'm gonna need to, you know, switch my products out and all of that. This is definitely a product that for somebody like me who has a deeper neck than my chest, if I needed to, I could get a shade that matches my chest and just use that to balance out my neck. Now at this point, I don't know how much I have put on my face. I don't know if I put too much. If I've put, I don't, it matches so well. I don't know what kind of coverage I've done. If I've, have I done a natural coverage? Have I done a medium coverage? Have I done a full coverage? I don't know. Okay, so this is what it looks like on both sides of the face. This side has the primer and the right side does not have the primer. So the only difference that I have noticed as of this point between the two sides is that the side with the primer has less visible pores compared to the right side. Like my right here has pores. I cannot see any pores on this side, but I can see pores on this side. I'm gonna go in with the Camo Hydrating Concealer. Okay, this is the shade Rich Ebony. This is the deepest shade that they offer. I'm gonna add the shade Rich Cocoa on the middle part of it. Rich Cocoa is a little bit lighter. I'm gonna blend Rich Cocoa first, and I'm using the sponge from the Cookies and Dreams collection. I'm gonna go in with my Benai Nutmeg Setting Powder. Okay, you guys, so this is what my face is looking like. I look a bit crazy. I know, I know, but the time is now 12.48. I'm gonna go do the eyes and everything and I will come back so we can see what the rest of my face looks like, okay? Okay guys, so this is my finished look using the e.l.f. Camel Powder Foundation. The time is now 3.42. I'm gonna come back in another couple of hours and we can check exactly what my skin is doing, okay? As of this point, I feel like my face held up really, really well. I hadn't blotted my face until a little bit ago where I applied my setting spray and then I went ahead and blotted it down. The powder foundation is matte, so definitely keep that in mind. The way my skin is feeling today, I it's feeling a little bit on the dry side, but it's still oily. So I feel like if you're somebody who has dry skin, you're going to need a very hydrating product underneath this powder. And you might need to set with a hydrating, dewy kind of setting spray to prevent your face from getting too, too, too matte. Okay, so that is it. I'm gonna go and I will come back later so we can see exactly what my face is looking like. Okay. Okay, you guys, so the time is now five o'clock it's five o'clock p.m a bitch is tired man all i know is that my skin is looking really really good both sides of the face um honestly i see a little bit more texture on this side of my face compared to the primer side it does look good it looks better than i thought that it would however if Without primer and the products already having primer in it, I expected it to look a lot better, but the power grip side looks way better than the powder without the primer. So in my opinion, if you're gonna use it, even though it says that it has primer in it, if you have textured skin like I do, the best thing to do would be to make sure that you prime. That way you get that added texture protection, if that makes any sense, because 
it, it doesn't hurt to do that extra step to prime your skin. Like, it looks good though, it looks good. But that is it for me showing you guys the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the shades. Let me know what you think about how it wore. I think it wore very, very nicely. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. I will put the links to all the products that I used today down below in the description box. I will also put the link to this eyeshadow look down below in the description box. I feel like you can tell what I used. So I'm going to put it down below as well so you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.